Ben Mitchell, Max Bowden, almost died in tonight's EastEnders, as Kirat Jazz Singh Diol furiously attacked him in the wake of learning that Ben had withdrawn protection from Kirat's brother Jags, Amar Adatia, in prison, leading to Jags's death. As Ash Gerlaine Gawakarcha urged Kirat to do it, and finish Ben off, he was only stopped by Suki, Balvinder Sopal, revealing that she'd also played a massive part in Jag's death. Ben, who was already under the influence of various drugs from earlier on, was left in a terrible state and Ash had to confirm he even had a pulse. When he'd recovered slightly, Stacy, Lacey Turner, took him home. Ben was ready to lay some of the blame about how badly his life had turned out at Kathy, Gillian Tailforth, and Phil, Steve McFadden, S. Dor. You left me all alone, he accused him at one point, which was fair enough what with having a mother who was dead, for nine years and a father who spent a fair amount of time in prison and was never father of the year material even when he was in Walford. Phil was having none of this, telling Ben he had to grow up, and take responsibility for his own choices. Ben agreed that he deserved everything he'd got. I'm a bad person, mum, he told Kathy sadly. Kirat should have finished the job. After Ben fell asleep, Kathy and Phil continued to talk about him, with Phil still adamant that his son needed to take responsibility. Of course what he didn't know was what had happened to Ben recently, and despite Kathy promising Ben that she wouldn't tell anyone about him being raped she knew there was no way Phil would understand and be able to help Ben unless he knew the full story. She said she understood what Ben was going through because she'd been there. Ben was raped, she told a shocked Phil. Armed with this new information, will Phil be able to get through to his son? Or will it become all about revenge against Lewis, Aidan O'Callaghan? And how will Ben feel about Kathy telling Phil his secret? By the time he wakes up, a lot will have changed.